On October 5, 2017, the New York Times published a shocking accusation detailing claims of sexual harassment and rape against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. What made these women feel comfortable coming forward and telling their stories? After the publication, actress Alyssa Milano wrote to her Twitter followers, if you have been sexually harassed or assaulted, write me too as a reply to this tweet. The Pew Research Center notes that within one year of the article being published, the Me Too hashtag was used over 19 million times on Twitter alone. Many people say that this was the start of the Me Too movement, an act of solidarity among women to challenge what was accepted behavior among men towards women in the working world. The sheer number of tweets communicated to other women that they can come forward with their own stories. I think what happened here is that women were able to put out into social media a simple statement, me too, without having to go into detail of who and how and what. It allowed women to admit something without being challenged or called a liar. One example of the effectiveness of this social solidarity is the September 9, 2018 resignation of Leslie Moonves, who was the CEO of the CBS network TV station. Allegations against him were made that occurred between 1980 and the year 2000. With so much time having passed, it's clear that the women felt something was right about this time, almost 40 years after the fact. CBS and Moonves even donated $20 million to support the Me Too movement. According to sociologist Emile Durkheim, social solidarity is what holds a society together. In context of the Me Too movement, many women have a shared set of experiences which allow them to relate to each other. This is also supported by Max Weber's idea of status groups being people with similar identities in a society and the concept of the stratification system, where women were unequal in power to men, especially in the film industry, where men like Weinstein had the power to ruin women's careers. At its heart, the Me Too movement is more than just words on a screen. It communicates to other women to challenge ideas in our society that create a power divide between men and women through the use of symbols, such as the hashtag MeToo. The concept of Me Too originated with an activist named Tarana Burke as she tried to sympathize with women and children who had been sexually victimized through her Just Be nonprofit organization. Burke's organization works to empower those who are marginalized in the face of media, music, and pop culture that increasingly diminishes the importance, worth, and esteem of women and girls. In the acting world, women rely on a mostly male-dominated group of producers for roles in films. This power divide created a situation where the women can and do become victims. On March 11, 2020, Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 23 years in prison for two felony charges of rape resulting from the New York Times article and the Me Too phenomenon that followed. This sentence is another symbol to our culture that things are changing. Men can and will be held accountable for their actions. At his sentencing, Harvey said he felt confused by the movement and that he believed he had real relationships with these women. Probably the most powerful example of an effective apology comes from creator and producer Dan Harmon when he admits to hurting a coworker he had power over. Harmon says, I crushed on her and I resented her for not reciprocating it. And he admits to treating her poorly by doing things he never would do to her had she been a man. Harmon's apology video is an example of what it means to take accountability for your actions. And his apology was so well received that even his victim was relieved and comforted by it. If you have been the victim of sexual harassment or abuse, I encourage you to keep the movement going.